Hey there guys. Today's build is one of those projects that might not have a ton of direct purpose, but is something that is super fun, lets you show your creativity a little bit, and frankly get some use out of something that might have lost its use, like in the case of this, an old saw blade, which I'm going to be turning into a knife. Now partnering with me on this today are the Drill Doctor and WorkSharp tools. I'm going to be using their tool sharpeners to make this build go much easier and faster, but I always want to remind you that uh, just because you see me using something on a build like this doesn't mean it can't be done with hand tools or sandpaper or different things like that. It just might take a little bit longer. However, I will say it made this build much easier. So let me get to the build and then I'll talk about some of that extra stuff at the end. There's no sound during these time lapses, so I figured I'd just fill that dead air space with something. All right, so now that I have the template transferred to the saw blade, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, and I'm gonna be doing it with an angle grinder and making lots of little, very light passes, and you'll see me either spray it with water or wipe it down with a wet rag, and that is because this saw blade is a tool steel that has a temper that will hold an edge, and I don't wanna overheat it and potentially soften the metal. So let me go ahead and get this cut out, and uh, at least we'll have a knife shape at that point. Now to elaborate on what I just said, what I'm trying to do with this saw blade to knife build is something that I believe is termed online as stock removal. So I'm trying to cut the shape of the knife out of the saw blade without heating up the steel too much where it would lose any of the natural strength or the current hardness that it already has. And so basically I'm trying to skip the step of having to temper this at the end. And because I know I will eventually get the comment about this steel being used for a knife blade, I am fully aware that this saw blade is not a normal tool steel that is commonly used in knife blades. But from my research, this was a cold saw blade and was either M2 or M35 tool steel, and it will hold an edge. Maybe not as good as an A2 or D2 or something like that tool steel, but this is a fun project and I think it's gonna turn out pretty well in the end regardless. Alright, so far the blade is coming along pretty nicely and you'll see it follows the template pretty close. I have made some minor adjustments just to make sure it feels good in the hand, but so far I'm pretty excited with the way this is turning out. The next step will be to use a flap disc on the angle grinder and I'm just going to remove a little bit of material along where the edge of the knife will be um, just before I do the final shaping with the work sharp tools. And then after that I will add a handle um, and you'll see that cutout is just to allow for the pen material to go here uh, where those dots are. For this phase of the build, I started out with an angle grinder and a flap disc, and I'm using the flap disc to give a general rough shaping to the sides of the blade where they gently slope down to where the edge will eventually be. Once I had a rough shape developed, I then got out the work sharp tools belt sharpener with the blade grinding attachment, and this attachment will allow me to give a much more accurate profiling and shaping of the blade, as you can see right there. There's a lot of uh, flexibility in it, and uh, it really made a pretty easy work of getting the final blade profile developed. So right now I have the knife profile basically finished and the edge is just starting to meet. Um, it doesn't quite have much sharpness to it, but that's okay because I don't really want that just yet. Uh, so at this point I will probably clean the rest of the blade up of some of these scratches and then I will get started on the handle. And then after that I will put 
a nice edge on this. For the handle on this knife, I'm using a piece of mesquite that originally came from a larger chunk of mesquite that I have used in probably 10 to 15 projects over the years. I have it in my fireplace mantle and axe handle and a whole bunch of other little projects that I've done over the years. So it definitely has a little bit of a sentimental value. And to drill the holes in that mesquite, uh, I'm going to be sharpening an old drill bit using the drill doctor that uh, they sent me. And this machine is pretty cool. You put the drill bit in there and this little section um, kind of puts it in the proper alignment as far as distance. And then you simply put it in there and grind away and this drill bit was super sharp when done. And you'll see uh, when I start drilling through the handle uh, how good of a job it does. And there it is with the clamps. I did not film this part because it was super messy and super difficult to get everything lined up with the epoxy uh, before it set up. But everything's lined up now and the next clip you'll see is me uh, putting it on the drill press and finishing those holes that I started on the other side. After I drilled the holes all the way through the handle, I then set out determining the final shape of the handle, and I did this through a lot of sanding, probably two hours of sanding at least. Uh, but once I got a nice comfortable shape where it felt good in the hand, I then finished it all off with some hollow stainless steel pens. I know these aren't the most popular amongst everybody, but uh, ever since I was a kid, I always liked the idea of hollow pens so that uh, if I needed to, I could tie the knife to a stick and make a spear. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the saw blade knife build. I hope it was entertaining and informative, but most of all, I hope it was inspirational in the fact that it showed you you might be able to get a new purpose or some new life out of something that has lost its usefulness, whether it is an old pallet that you want to turn into a wine rack, which is always a good project, or some chunk of steel that you might have found on the side of the road or the back of the garage that you want to turn into God knows what, I don't know. But uh, I just hope it's an inspiration to show you that, uh, you know, maybe give that old 
junky whatever a second chance as for workshop tools and the drill doctor i hope you guys take an opportunity to go check them out because they are not only tools that can help you complete projects like you just saw me use to make this knife um, but they are tools that can help save you money uh, specifically with the drill doctor in the fact that you can keep your drills in or your drill bits in tip-top shape and always sharp and useful and with work sharp tools you can keep all of your tools as well as your kitchen knives hunting knives um, anything like that sharp and useful uh, because they're frankly a really really good tools and uh, you saw me using the work sharp tool uh, to help profile and sharpen this knife uh, well I've actually had a work sharp tool in my house for probably close to seven to eight years that I've used to sharpen all my kitchen knives so anyway I'm a believer um, as always I appreciate you guys watching these videos um, if you're watching it right now this is kind of in the midst of the whole uh, coronavirus thing uh, so I'm just hanging out at home you know trying to enjoy the family and enjoy the important things in life I hope you guys are doing well right now I pray that uh, you know, solutions are coming down and uh, we're gonna get through this but uh, I appreciate you guys watching uh, check me out on Instagram give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and I will see you next time